An exciting day for tomorrow. I know I'm looking forward to it. I'm joined now in the studio here with Paul Lorenz, Jr. He's the off-track betting manager at the Potawatomi Bingo Casino. So, Paul, why are there so many, or so few, I should say, Triple Crown winners? It's a tough test. I mean, you're asking horses to race three times in five weeks, and the last one being a mile and a half. Well, why is the Belmont then the hardest test to a three-year-old? Is it because of the distance, is it, or is it because they just don't know if that horse can run that long? It's, it's a little bit of both because, like I said, you're, you're running a mile and a quarter on the first, first Saturday of May, and then you're going along, and you know some horses don't even race more than one or two times within a four-week period. And that's a positive for this horse because this horse has actually had more races than all the others combined. He has run a lot as a two-year-old and into the three-year-old campaign, which is kind of reminiscent of the older horses. He's a strong horse. I mean, he's, like, he's got six wins in a row, all with Espinosa on him, so he knows how to, how to ride this horse. And um, I've been reading some of the stuff. Espinosa said that this horse is getting stronger with every race. Well, I believe that, and you can see that on the racing form also that this horse is getting uh, strong. Are you, uh, are you in his court? In his I'm in his court. I was, I was somewhat in his court on the Derby right. and uh, definitely watching him in all three races because I don't think he's gone everything, given us everything he's gotten in the last two races. Well, I'm with you on that, too. I predicted California Chrome, although it's easy to predict the favorite, but only uh, six out of the last 14 Belmonts were won by favorites or, or horses that are mm -hmm. under 10 to 1 odds. The rest have been over 10 to 1. So if, if I had to advise somebody, I'd say bet on a long shot in here. However, I'm in California's Chrome, uh, Chrome's corner also along with you. And, you know, looking back at one of my second picks in the, in the um, Derby was Wicked Strong. This horse is now coming back for the Belmont. He's raced in New York, you know, so he knows the course. He might give him a run for his money. I think there's a few horses that can. Now, what's going on at your place tomorrow? Well, we've got a lot of great things. We open up the off-track betting room at 9.30, and then uh, the, uh, the Northern Lights Theater is going to be open up at 10.30. I mean, at 10 o'clock. Okay. And at 11 o'clock, we give away commemorative glasses. Are these the glasses here? Yes, they are. Okay. Um, they are the Belmont, Belmont Stakes glasses. And we also have, there's three, three ways to win at, uh, tomorrow at the uh, Bel Belmont Stakes. You can bet on the race. Mm -hmm. You can swipe your Firekeeper's card in the kiosk, and you can get a shot at um, up to $50 in okay. reward play. And then there's a drawing at 7 o'clock for uh, anywhere from $2,500, but if California Chrome wins, we're calling it our Triple Crown promotion, it goes up to $7,500 Wow! if your name is drawn. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun out at your place tomorrow. Exactly. Now, real fast, would, if you had to advise somebody, would you do a Superfecta key or a Trifecta key or something with California Chrome on top, or would you say go for one of those big, odd, long shots, which happens a lot in the Belmont? Exactly. If, you, if you're looking for a little bit of a price, to this, yeah, go ahead and key California Chrome on top and then just put some numbers behind it because in this race at a mile and a half, anybody can, can take it. I agree with you, I agree. All right, well, thank you very much, Paul Lorenz Jr. for joining us on Wisconsin tonight. Good luck Thanks, to everybody sir. who bets. Good luck to California Chrome. We'll be right back.